And if you saw me try to put the contacts in my eye, that was shot by uh, and edited by putting together sequences of shots. And it's basically follow the action with medium and tight shots. And it's pretty simple to do. So um, let's start. Okay, so this first shot kind of establishes that it's a cabinet of some sort, right? So you reach and you open it. So now we have our close-up. And it's sort of closer on the handle, which is what's going to be grabbed. So you shoot that. And you can just kind of tip, play around with different angles and then see what works in the cutting room as well. That's something I advise you to do. But we're going to shoot at another angle. Okay. Then you cut back to the wide action. So we'll see how this turns out in the editing block when we do a couple of shots like that. Now normally, you would never want to show your own camera in the video you're shooting. Never ever. And it's good not to try to show other people's cameras as well. Okay? But anyways, this is on a tripod. Um, this is sort of the, the, the monitor is facing your way. That's just so I can, I can sort of see it. And it's nice and still. And everything should be locked down. And when, everything is, when I say everything is locked down, that means you have both the tilt and the pan. And see, I didn't have the pan locked down. So I will lock it down because it's right here. Oh, that's the pan lock. Oops, I'm sorry. Anyhow. This camera is locked down, okay? It really won't move. I mean, the tripod can move if you physically lift it up, but if it's bumped gently, it's really not going to give you too much shake. Okay, just shoot different shots of all your action. Wide, medium, tight. Experiment with the angles. Just, you know, have fun. Experiment with the angles. Get creative with it. I'm keeping it pretty basic, but I want you to get the idea anyways. So now you get the idea of sequences. This is what you use to edge up, like, the fine lines of a man's head. It's a T blade, see? Looks like a T, kind of, sort of. Okay? If you're wondering, um, I've pretty much been cutting my hair uh, since I was 16 or 17. I used to cut all my boys' hair back home, and I thought I was going to be a barber. That was my plans, so and then I went to junior college, and I started making videos. Now, it really takes a little bit of concentration to do this, so I'm probably not going to try to pay too much attention. And Trying to just make sure this is, you can see it. Just trying to make sure you can see it. It was probably hard for you to hear a lot of what I was saying because of this. It probably sounds really loud now because it's close to the microphone. This camera only has an internal microphone. It doesn't have an external one, like a handheld. It has none of that. Um, so whenever you're trying to shoot your sound, minimize the background noise it just makes for better audio and without audio video and good pictures what do you have you have garbage this would be a good time to talk about lighting um the lighting really isn't very good in here i mean the lights are coming from the vanity and um, as you can see there's dark shadows on this side of my face which not only uh, makes the picture uneven and you know if I was like this yeah it'd be cool but it's not you know it kind of has a shadow which makes it hard for me to see this fuzz on my face oh, I'm really eyeballing this I don't know what I'm doing I can't see I'm cutting by faith not by sight I'm just gonna use a little bit of creativity when I chop it together now this works for whether or not you're shooting live action like somebody walking across the street or somebody sitting down at a park bench. Um, if you need to follow the action, use your tripod. Doing the TV thing, folks. There's a whole little monster. stuff. That's cool. What do you think? I think we did all right. Alright folks, go on handheld now, you probably see a little bit of shake, you probably see me going out of focus just like you're watching some real home video. That's what your home video probably looks like. Hopefully you're holding it still and steady, and this is the final product. So I hope you learned today, use a tripod, keep your shots steady, shoot sequences, mediums and tights. Mediums and tights, and watch your framing. Watch your framing, especially when you're shooting handheld. We do it like that.